Today I'm doing a little bit of paint touch up and this is pretty inconsequential. This is something that happened as we were taping for the exterior part of the paint job. Remember I did the interior trunk area myself here in the garage and then we took it to a paint booth and in the process of taping up, I discovered a little flaw in the paint. So I'm gonna try to take care of that right now. Okay, so here in the trunk area, this is the line right here where I did some taping. This is the stuff I did here in the garage and then this is the part that was painted in the booth. And we, when we were taping up this inside portion, discovered that I hadn't prepped this area well enough. I mean, this wasn't sanded prior to putting paint on it. So the tape we used just pulled a little bit of the tape off, a little bit of the paint off. You can see right there, just a small little flaw. And then along down the line, this is just unsanded areas. And so the adherence of the paint is just not good. So it happened in just like this one spot to like kind of along this whole rail, not too bad though. So I thought I would just try to you know, touch this up with the airbrush before I put the hood on.
I'm not entirely sure I blended in the, the clear correctly, but it looks great and it looks like a mostly seamless repair. I have to look really, really carefully to see just a tiny little jagged edge where the paint chipped off. So, you know, I could do more buffing and all that good stuff, but this is such a minor area, really just an experiment on what it's like to repair the paint because this car is gonna get driven and it's gonna get scratched and rock chips. So it's kind of reassuring to know that it can be repaired and I hope this will stand up. So we'll see. Um, I wasn't even gonna film this part. Uh, I just, it was such a small thing. But then I thought, why not? Uh, you know, the lesson learned here is that, you know, this is, this is not the norm. This is only what happens when you have cured epoxy primer and you don't sand it prior to putting the base coat on. So I sanded everywhere in the trunk area, except for that little ridge on the top. And I just forgot about it. And when we did the taping, it pulled the base coat right off. So adhesion has to have that scuffing, uh, the, the base coat has to have that scuffing there to really provide any adhesion to the base coat below it, which was the, in this case, epoxy primer. Now, if the epoxy primer was put on within like a seven day window, then there's no sanding required. But because I've been working by myself and doing all this in different steps, uh, it needed to be sanded and I just overlooked it. The rest of the car is not like, it's not gonna peel off. I mean, I've put tape all over this car and uh, nothing is at all lifting. It's only that one mistake that I made there and now it's fixed. Mm -hmm.